the last thing that we are going to look at, right, is what we call the RF factor or retention factor. Okay, RF value is counted by the distance moved by the substance over the distance moved by the solvent. Okay, please know your RF value is always smaller than 1. Okay, it is a small number over a big number, so you know that it's the distance moved by the solute over distance moved by the solvent. Okay, uh, and then your RF value is always calculated from the starting line. Okay, so for example, in this case, uh, my starting line is over here. Okay, my solvent front is over here. Okay, so distance moved by the solute, the blue dot over here. Okay, 3.1 cm, this one is your A, right? 3.1 cm divided by 8.5 cm. Okay, distance moved from the solute, which is over here, 3.1, over distance moved by the solvent, which runs all the way to the top from the starting line. Okay, so my RF value is 0 0.36, and then your yellow dot over here, which is your B, this one, 5.8 over 8.5, this is 7.2. Okay, why is this RF value important? It's because scientists have actually done a lot of chromatography and then they publish a book. So, for example, if I want to know this is a pure red dye, the RF value is going to be, for example, 0 0.72 in water. Okay, so if I do a chromatography and then I count, it as 0 0.72 then I compare it with the book as long as your RF value is the same in the same solvent right then it means it is the same compound or the same solute okay uh, if you're not very clear about these examples we will definitely do more practice huh, to look at the different chromatography examples the different chromatography scenarios and how we go and calculate rf value to know exactly and to be very very familiar and clear with this uh, chromatography okay